All right, hello, YouTuber back. Um, get ready to launch the refueling craft to refuel the converter to get it to the space station. All we gotta do is get enough fuel to it to reach the space station to refuel there properly. So I'm gonna try to use McJeb on this one, and hopefully, hopefully, it does not just blow the thing up again. I don't know uh to try this. Choose a target. Get that converter. Oops, why did I do that? Alright, so let's just engage. Now I don't know if this thing will ever count down to zero because the converter is on a inclination of a few degrees. So I'm not hundred percent sure yeah it, it should. If it doesn't, I'll go ahead and kick it in. Because <laughs> I've had it before where it got down to two seconds, and I'm like, oh, yes, we're going to launch. And then it starts going back up. I'm like, what? No, 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 launch. And, oh, there we go. All right. So these eight little engines are barely enough to get it going, but it's going. And if this thing can dock properly to the converter, and we can get the converter to the space station, what we'll do is refuel it from the space station, send it to the moon's orbit, and there it can serve its purpose. Although, I'm not sure if they will make it up there to rendezvous with the uh, converter. Because it's fuel looking kind of bad right now. And of course, this thing wobbles really badly. <laughs> what just happened? What just happened? Well, let's go and see here. Between. Oh, God. It's always that main sail and the. Jumbo fuel tanks. I don't know why, but it's just always that. And how I solved this problem last time simply attaching the liquid fuel cluster. Boom! Problem solved. Hopefully. But also, I didn't really like our fuel reserves on that, so I'm gonna add. Uh, what should I add? It's a Four, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and fill all these up. Just like that. A hundred and eighty-two ton. Pretty heavy. <laughs> well, for a rocket, it's not that heavy, but for our, you know, our minds, it's kind of heavy. Anyway, there's that converter, so we're gonna just go ahead and engage the countdown. And again, I hope this thing will actually do a countdown and make it, because that one time it went down to two seconds and didn't fire. I'm like, ugh. Well, it seems because the converter is on a little bit of an incline, it seems like it's actually helping it. I don't know, but 
you know, I'm not a rocket scientist or anything, so. Three, two, one, blast off. And I always try to overpower my rockets. Because if you overpower them, McJeb will try to keep you at about 115, you know, meters per second. It doesn't let you go super fast. The slower you go, of course, with the less throttle you have, the more fuel you'll have later up. So that's what I like to do. I like to overpower it with boosters. That way, there's more liquid fuel later on up there. And of course, them solid fuel boosters are just turning the rocket. <clears throat> or maybe not. I mean, it could be McJeb doing that because of the rendezvous we gotta meet. So. Yes, yeah, McJeb doing it. Alright. Go ahead and kick in that. Uh, Mainsail engine. So we're traveling more horizontally than vertically, obviously. Um, we got a funny orbit going on here. Come on, Christ's sake. And of course, it just points the nose down even more. No point even trying to save it right now. So yeah, that launch could have went better. I uh, got a few ideas here. Let's uh, strip them boosters off, and and uh, blah, 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 blah. M. Septron's not gonna do enough. <laughs> Um, probably not. They might, but I doubt it. I'll try these. I'll try just four of them. Try her again. And I apologize if watching me is really boring, but as I said, I'm the best rocket designer. So there's a lot of hit and miss with my rocket designs. And I just try to get it to work, so. So it looks like we're all ready for blast off. Hopefully. Oh, look here, we're going to launch at sunrise. Look at that. That is just a beautiful shot of the sun gleaming off one side of the rocket. 
two, one, boom. Watches end horribly again. My freaking God. Alright, you know what? Okay. I'm gonna do one last launch in this video. For just this video, one last launch. And all I can say is screw McJib. We'll launch manually again and do it that way. I expect this to work better, honestly, because of the fact that, you know, the chip keeps wanting to turn it on its side. I don't know why, but if I can just get it up into an orbit that's lower than what the converter is, I'll be traveling faster than it, and it shouldn't be too hard to rendezvous with it from space and all that good stuff. Assuming. I have enough fuel to do that. So we're gonna kick in the main engine right now, and here in a sec, here in a second we'll I mean, activate McJeb do the gravity turn and all that good stuff. Alright, get ready to decouple this, the first stage, and here we go. And this probably isn't enough fuel to get the orbit, but again, if it ain't, if it isn't enough fuel, all I gotta do is return back to Earth because there's no fuel left, there's no point in refueling it except for the RCS. And I'm gonna use the RCS just getting to it and then docking with it. And yeah, there won't be. 
I can tell that much right now, so this is going to be kind of pointless. So basically, I'm going to go and work on some, design, some designs for a new rocket. I'll see y'all later, YouTube. Later.